Hello, everybody, and welcome into HelenKennard.com. I'm Helen Kennard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and tonight I've got a gorgeous WOW project I want to show you how to put together. Um, every week, Stampin' Up! Um, has a Technique Tuesday, and they share a technique with us, and last week, this is uh, the technique they showed us. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to share it with you. But um, let me let me get over here so you can see. Um, what they've done is taken some of the holographic uh, paper. Look at that that shines, and embossed over it with embossing paste. And in person, it is just as gorgeous as it looks on the screen. So I loved it, and wanted to show y'all how to do it. Now, I've used embossing paste before on our Facebook slides, but you may not uh, have been here or whatever. So I'm going to show you how to do this because it really is beautiful. But before I get into that, uh, let me remind you of our bonus day sale. Um, what it is, uh, Stampin' Up! has this usually once, once a year. And for one month, from July 6th to July 30th, for every $50 that you spend, you get a $5 coupon in the, in the email. They'll email you back your coupon, and then uh, you'll get a $5 for every $50. So you'll get one for $50, two for $100, uh, three for $150, and so on. So it doesn't matter how many you get uh, in the month. And then in August, you can redeem those coupons in August. So how cool is that? <laughs> it's always a great time to get all of your basic stuff. Like this is uh, the time that when if I need to put in an order and I need just a little bit more to make that $50, I put my clear uh, envelopes, my regular envelopes, any of my adhesives. And, you know, I hear rumors of uh, UPS, um, you know, going on strike sometime this summer. So I need to make sure I've got all my um, basic stuff that I use every day so that'll last me two or three months. Now, I don't know for sure that that's true, but I've heard it. I've heard of it. So um, now's the time to get, you know, your basic stuff. It's also a great time to buy, start your Christmas gifting. Um, you know, if you have family or friends that are crafty, yep, now's the time to do it. Um, or for yourself, you can tell your family, you know, I really want this. Um, so it's a great time to go ahead with your gifting for the holidays. So um, don't forget that. But if you have any questions, I, I already announced it last week, but I wanted to remind you each week so you don't forget. I certainly am not going to forget. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that was going on for the rest of the month. And if you have any questions, certainly... Uh, let me know and I'll try to answer all your questions for you. I've put underneath here, underneath my picture, um, July host code. So you'll use that host code to put an order in through me. And for everybody that does that, you're going to get a card kit in the mail for it. For everyone that orders for from me in, ju in July, um, you'll get a kit to, to make this card. So, so you don't want to miss that. So for every $50, you'll get a card kit in the mail from me. So don't forget it. Um, so anyway, I did want to remind you that the uh, we've used this holographic trio specialty paper. And that's what they're focusing on this month uh, is the different, you know, specialty papers. So they started off with the holographic and I love it. So why don't we get started? All right. Okay, some of this I've already done for us. 
These are the packets that I had left from one of my classes that I had this week. And I wanted to go ahead and get those done. So what I'll do is punch as much as I can or, you know, emboss or whatever I need to do ahead of time so it doesn't take up so much time. But we're going to start with a piece of Lost Lagoon. So the challenge, uh, they challenge us each week with um, some kind of technique or product. Okay, this goes on the inside. Oh boy. There you go. I'm going to set this aside because what we want to do is put, I've already cut this out and see how it is normally. I hope everybody can hear me. Oh, so Lindy, yours have come, hasn't come in yet. So I'm taking that you can understand me. I um, love to, to turn my mic off. But um, so anyway, and I cut it out with the countryside dies. Okay, then what we're going to do, if you haven't used the embossing paste before, it comes in a tub like this and a bunch of um, a bunch of tools that you can use to spread it. Now I'm also using the artistic mix decorative mask. Now and I'm showing y'all this. This was something that I featured in my um, catalog launch. What I love about it is, first of all, look at that. That's what we're, this is the one that we're using tonight. Um, this one, let's see if you can see it. Maybe I go like this. So you can um, use blending brushes and then stamp on it or, it, you know, use the inside of it and do it on the outside you know lots of different choices and then this one this one's really really pretty but this one's one of my favorites you start off with that and then you can um, layer this on and again you can emboss with it you can spritz you can use markers blending brushes just on and on all the different coloring techniques that you can use with this. So it's a, a really, really fabulous, I think, uh, tool for us to use. Let me put all this over here so I can get it in place. Okay. Now, one of the things that you need to know about the embossing paste is that it dries. I want to say fairly quickly within, I want to say probably within five minutes. So you cannot leave the lid open. And I like leaving it in the bag that it comes with and zip it back up so it doesn't dry out. And it has a metal, oh, I want to say, um, what is this? Uh, uh, I thought we opened it up the other day. Let me see if this one's in the video. Yes. Yeah, this one's the one. The foil. And you don't need a whole lot. What you want to do is lay this on there 
very carefully and it, you don't want it to move so you grab some of this and do you see how much I have so not a whole lot and start and just keep rubbing it over now depending upon <clears throat> how thick you've made it will determine how long it'll take too so you want to make sure you filled in that whole area that had the uh, specialty paper underneath it try to make it as uniform as you can or not um, several times several of my projects you know I didn't want it uniform so it made it look a lot different so depending on the look this one I want you to make it uh, pretty uniform then put it back in there put this back down and put the lid on and put it back in the um, plastic container now as soon as we finish I'm going to go wash my palette and this mask. Ta da! Woo! Love it. Let's see. Let me set it right there. I'm going to set it right over here to let it uh, dry. I'm going to set this over here because if I if I touch it, it's going to smear it. So you don't want to do that. So I'm going to put all this over here while we finish the rest of the card. All right. So we're going to use the layering leaves. I'm going to use this one and this one. And uh, sending hugs. I think I am. Okay, let me put it on this. So the first thing that we're going to do is emboss this using, ow, something got me. With our Bursa Mark. Because this is photopolymer, you want some kind of cushion to get the best um, impression that you can. Go ahead and close that back up. There you go. Can you see how shiny that is? 
I don't know if I can get it in the light just right, but that looks good. Set it over there. Then we're going to stamp our flowers. I just had it. There it is. I'm going to need two of these leaves in Lost Lagoon. Hey, Naomi. <laughs> it's good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to need two of these. And of course, these um, correspond with our punch. And this is the bubble bath. It's a, a really pretty soft color. I have to separate these. I already know I, I do because last was it, no not for last when I had my class. We didn't. I have enough. So I'm using these post-it notes to give me extra room. So I'm gonna put it in like that. Now it's so light I can barely see it. Let's see. There. There it is. Okay. Now be very careful. I have to tell my customers that this will bite you if you are not careful. usually on the palm of your hand or at least that's where I get bitten most of the time okay same thing go ahead and punch this out there these I may not need to but I bet I do but I'll see oh that went right in there let's see if this one will of course not let's see Uh, something's stuck in there. There. Mm, oh. Hot dog. Went right to it. All right. Let me just check. Yeah, it's starting to dry, you guys. Yep. I told you it wouldn't take long. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take our Sending Love. Now what I did was I used just regular adhesive. get my flowers on. Okay. Separating out. OK. 
Okay, so I want the small ones to go on in front of the big ones. So I'm going to go ahead and layer those on first. Did you see how I did that? They're all just um, using the regular. Now let's go ahead and put some dimensionals on. Linda, when I had my launch party, I showed them how to use that plaid for like Christmassy with red and green. It was so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so this is ready. Let me see if this is. Yep. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, let me put some dimensionals on that. Dimensionals are another good filler, you know what I mean, to fill in, to um, make that fifty dollars so you can get a a coupon try to set it as straight as you can sending hugs there you go what do you think isn't that so pretty? Aww. It's so easy, isn't it? It's just uh, fun, fun, fun to play with the um, embossing paste. I've got to get back in there real quick and clean that up. But I, I did want to show you this and um, see if you had any questions about anything. Oh, thanks, Linda. Thanks, Naomi. I appreciate both of you being here. Let's see. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, certainly let me know. If you have any questions about the bonus days, like I said, now's the time to, um, you know, to put a fifty-dollar order in, and then, um, you know, get a five-dollar coupon back. The other thing I wanted to remind everybody is that I'm getting ready to start my uh, Christmas in July. So I'm going to have a, a class at the end of the month that's going to start off my Christmas season. And I hope you can come. Uh, please sign up for my newsletter so you'll be able to be in the know of all my classes and my online classes that I'm having. So uh, you won't want to miss it. Our first class is going to be a doozy with our new online exclusives. So um, come join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, everybody, you have a great week. And thank you so much for stopping by. Remember, I'm also streaming on YouTube. So please subscribe. Um, put, uh, follow me here on Facebook. And then that way you'll be notified when I'm getting ready to do one of my lives. So um, if you're dropping by, that's great. Go ahead and, and uh, like and then subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on anything. 
All right. Have a great week. I'll see you next Wednesday night at seven o'clock. Take care. Bye-bye.